Some reaction now from the Conservatives. Liz Truss is here and Caroline Flint of Labour. Welcome uh, Hi, to hello. you both. Uh, why isn't the Prime Minister here? Well, we saw the Prime Minister debate last time. He was head and shoulders above the other candidates. He shows he's a man who can lead the yeah, country. So why not come he's here? got a fantastic a track record. Then. Well, the whole purpose of today's debate is to see the challenges. And I think what we are going to see is chaos. We're going to see a lot of unfunded promises. We're going to see a lot of argy-bargy between those different parties. And what it really shows is the risk that if we don't achieve the 23 seats, which we want to achieve to get a Conservative overall majority government, we will end up with an Ed Miliband propped up by the SNP. Okay, well, we haven't heard more the debate spending, yet. More spending, <laughs> more taxes and more debt. Oh, well, yeah, but that. we saw it last well, time, Adam. Well, we already know what it well, looks like. Well, let's ask Caroline Finder. We didn't actually well, see it. Well, unfunded that. from Liz Truss on Tory promises is a bit of a joke. But tonight, Adam, is a chance for Ed Miliband to set out the choice facing Britain between Labour's better plan to support and a recovery that, work, stage, recovery, that that works, work? well, recovery that works for working people and a failed plan from the Tory and, and, a, and a leader of the Tory party who's going for the top job in Britain but is refusing to turn up for another job interview. I think that speaks volumes about where we are in terms of who is actually speaking out about what their vision is for the country and a Prime Minister and Tory leader who is running, running away. Well, that's not true at all. He's already debated with all of the other parties. We're going to see next week a question time well, I, I, I style do have debate. To say, I do have but to say to you, do you not, is, do not yes, feel that you're very making... Selective it's it's, it's, it's fair enough for him not this, turning up, but it is ludicrous to pretend that he wants to debate. We all know he doesn't. He's already debated, and we've seen him every week get the better, and then campaign. that's what he said. You can't maintain that he wants to debate, but just doesn't happen to be here. And in the last debate, he was head and shoulders above the the other well, candidates. so you say that's not what the polls what said. We are, I think they did say that. And what we're going no, to see didn't. tonight he was ahead. is there we're going to see a lot of parties with a lot of promises which are unfunded. And we are going to see an Ed Miliband Liz, facing Liz. Nicola Sturgeon again, who ultimately. Yeah. Well, a lot Liz, of I think, uh, Liz, I think uh, we're talking about something like £18 billion of unfunded promises from the Tory party this week. But you know, the joke but you is. You have not David said you will Cameron, close the deficit, David, Caroline. David you have Cameron, not said that. Yeah. David Cameron's not turned You've up, not but he's sending that. six right. of his uh, spin doctors, including Liz, out to defend his corner tonight. I mean, why don't you stay away if your leader won't bother to turn up? It also has well, to be said. I, I think it's very important that we are get here message across talking so about the here? track record that we've got as so a government. What? The fact that we have created a thousand jobs every day during the course of this you government. Have. And you left the country without the money. We said got, the money got, has run out. We've got failed we promises. We've got failed promises from David Cameron. She said he would eliminate the deficit. He hasn't done that. Said that actually, you know, working people will be supported. You no, created they're worst the deficit. Off, they're worst off at this end of this parliament than they were at the start failed to keep his promise not to reorganise the NHS with the sort of record times in A&E. But the truth is, David Cameron should be here tonight defending yeah. his well, record. The truth right, is, this is, is a debate of the debate of the challengers. Well, Nick, that, that, yeah, that was the deal done with the here. BBC That's by the Tory party. Exactly but, 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 but the only reason but, we're know, having debates just, in the first place is David Cameron cut through the process and said rubbish. he was willing to debate. <laughs> I mean, with, and we the, had with seven, all due respect, we had seven absolute parties. rubbish. If the Prime Minister uh, wanted, as he said he did, to have a head-on debate with Ed Miliband, he could have it at any point. No, that's not a debate, is it? Well, so, uh, Caroline, the well, it's, not a, it's not a debate, so don't say he's having a debate next week, We've because he isn't, already, it's not Adam. true. He's, he's had not had already. the face-to-face -face debate, has, which he, he said there was a case for, with Ed Miliband, one-on-one, -on -one. he's not done it. We had an event right. a few anyway, weeks okay. ago Caroline, with David But let's put it to this, uh, okay. Ed Miliband, a lot of people think he's a fool coming here, why lower himself to the level of the other parties uh, when they're going to attack him? He's going to be attacked from the left mm -hmm. uh, by the ladies and from the right by Nigel Farage. Because Ed Miliband has said absolutely clearly from the start the discussions about these debates, he's willing to do any debate, any time, any place. It's an opportunity we see to show what is the choice facing the country. Even if in David Cameron he isn't here tonight, it's the chance for Ed once again to lay out what that choice is, and that's a recovery that works for working but people. It is a risk if you find yourself attacked. And not another five years in which families are squeezed and the NHS goes backwards. But yeah, it is also about taking on the smaller parties and being clear about the fact, for example, yeah. in relation to the SNP, that a vote for them is going to give a decade of Tory rule at Westminster. The fact is that Labour needs 69 seats to get an overall majority. In Scotland, they're projected to lose lots of seats. They will not be able to form a government on their own. And what we're going to see tonight is we're going to see what a coalition of chaos would look like with more spending, more taxes, more borrowing. Yes, but the fact is, if you go by that maths, and everything else has to be the same, of course, which it doesn't appear to be, but if you go by that maths, you get into Downing Street yes. by talking up. 
the SNP. And that's exactly that's, what that's really what's going on. SNP do very well. Labour doesn't have the seats. Bob's your uncle. We, David Cameron gets in by the back door. Adam, we need 23 seats to get an if, overall if majority. If you hold everything else. There are 14 seats that we can take from the Liberal Democrats in the South West alone. And I think we're getting our message across during this campaign over the course of the last yes, parliament. Yes, but if Labour, if Labour were to recover day, in Scotland, you wouldn't do it, off. would you? If Labour We've were to recover in Scotland, We've lowered taxes for 26 it, million people, and we are on the side of working people, and that's what counts in this well, election. Well, I mean, working people are £1,600 worse that off is at the end of true. this parliament. Yes, they are. They're £900 better The fact off, is, actually, we've Caroline. got more people on zero-hour con contracts, 20% up in the last year, and it is a choice, Is at the end of the day. It's a choice between Ed Miliband and our plan for supporting working people and protecting the NHS, and a failed plan by the Tories. And at the end of the day, there's only what, you know, one of two people are going to be Prime Minister. That is Ed Miliband or David Cameron, and David Cameron can't be bothered well, to turn I up to I think that is one record. thing that Caroline and I agree on. It is a choice between Ed Miliband and David Cameron. It's a choice between competence and chaos. So why won't he turn up tonight to defend his record? We've already debated, and David Cameron very <laughs> clearly won that debate, Caroline. Well, I don't agree with that, but I think actually you should be prepared to face every right. job interview. And tonight, David Cameron's well, not up for that. I'll tell you one thing, it's certainly not going to be boring. Thank you both very much Thank indeed. You. Thank you. Well, there are just 21.